Earlier, I spoke of how diverse this class is, yet you still share many common experiences, challenges, and goals. Each year, to highlight the journey to earning the CPCU designation, we select two students as representatives of your conferring class to share their CPCU experiences. First, we will hear from Jessica Diaz, CPCU of Allied Insurance, based in Sacramento, California. Surely I'm not alone when I say I didn't dream of a career in insurance as a kid. I haven't met too many doughy-eyed five-year-olds that say they want to be a part of risk transfer when they grow up. I didn't even know it was an industry I could get into, let alone that I'd be talking about my CPCU so many years later. When I was in the last year of my time at Cal Poly, my mom called me with a life-altering question. She said, what color do you want your room, room painted when you move home? Horror music loomed in my mind, and I wondered what color shame actually was. So I started my job search that day. I dialed up AOL and got on Monster every day. I applied for anything, everything, everywhere, even the Wienermobile. Yeah, I thought that driving a giant hot dog for a year would beat the shame of moving back home. Unfortunately for me, even though I was rocking a poli-sci degree and a extensive experience at a tire store and a shooting range and a roller rink, nobody was knocking down my door. Right before I chose my paint color, I got an interview for an underwriter trainee position. I didn't even know what that was, but I uh, went to the interview, and during the interview, they told me that insurance meant lifelong learning. I liked that. I also liked that I wasn't moving home, so with zero negotiation, I took the job. And I was still waiting for my real career to find me when insurance started growing on me. And uh, when someone said to me, the thing about insurance is, provided that we do it right, we're the ones who can help when no one else can, I took that to heart. This point resonated with me on September 11th when the Twin Towers fell. As my coworkers and I watched the horror played out on TV, we all knew that the world would never be the same, but as an insurance practitioner, your thoughts tend to change. While you deeply feel the tragedy of the human losses, you also start to wonder how businesses and companies are covered, and you also see these events as structural changes to which our industry must respond. I found myself with a deeper desire to know insurance in a more meaningful way. It was no longer about avoiding the paint color, but it was more about being part of that team that could help when no one else could. And I knew I needed to have a solid foundation in risk and insurance. And so my journey to CBCU began then. But so did my life. So I got married, I adopted a little girl, I moved to new states, and I took on new roles. Life was busy, so I only managed to meander through a few CBCU courses. 11 years later, still no CPCU, and I went through my own structural changes. I was managing through a tough divorce and also a tough company sale all at the same time. And I realized that while insurance doesn't fix everything, we can adapt and change. And so I did. I moved back to California. I went back to a company that I started working with that I love nationwide, and I took time to invest in my family and myself and my own goals. So I got right back into the CBCU and I went for it. 551, 552, 553, there was nothing stopping me. Nothing except the 540, of course. <laughs> and I'm sure it stops a lot of us. Me, it was just 11 years. So when I got to 540, I worried and I fretted and I was just a wreck, but like I did in the past and like we all do, I powered through. And I sat down and thought about it once I got my CPCU, and, well, wait, I bragged about it on Facebook, and then I thought about it. And um, I realized that getting our CPCU isn't just getting ahead, it is actually a commitment to the industry that we chose, it's a commitment to ourselves, and a commitment to our insureds to be part of that team, whether they know that we have a hand in their coverage or not. So as I celebrate with you guys today, I want to tell you how proud I am to be in insurance and how proud I am to have my CPCU, finally. 
and how proud I am that I never chose a new color for my bedroom walls. Thank you.